For today's video, we are going to start a series of discussion on base, rate, and percentage, and we are going to explain everything in details. But specifically in this particular video, we are going to focus on how to find the percentage. First, let us define what is percentage. So when we say percentage, it is the part considered in its quantitative relationship to the wool. So in other words, it is part of the wool and the number being compared to another number, which is the base. So basically, the result obtained when the rate is applied to the base is the percentage. It is expressed with the same unit as the base. So let's say for example, if we take 50 as a wool and we take 20 as a part, so the base is 50 that is the wool and percentage which is 20 or what we call the part so the rate is 20 over 50 20 as the part and 50 as the base so to find the percentage let us use the formula percentage equals base times rate so p that is the percentage b that is the base and R, that is the rate. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, what is 50% of 24? So to find the number which is 50% of 24, let us identify the base, which is 24, and let us have the rate, which is 50%, or in decimal, that is 0 0.50 and let us use the formula p equals base times rate so let us have the base that is 24 multiplied by rate which is 50 percent or 0 0.50 24 multiplied by 0 0.50 it will give us 12 so 12 is 50% of 24, and this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is 25% of 300? So to determine the 25% of 300, let us use the formula. Percentage equals base times rate. So our base in our given, that is 300, our rate, that is 25% or 0 0.25 in decimal. So let us have the base, which is 300 times the rate, which is 25% or 0 0.25. And let us multiply 300 times 0 0.25. It will give us 75. That means 75 is 25% of 300. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, what is 2 over 5 as large as 800? So to determine the value of 2 over 5 in 800, let us have the base, which is 800, and let us have the rate, which is 2 over 5. Again, let us have the formula, percentage equals base times rate. So let us have 800 multiply by 2 over 5. 800 multiply by 2, that is 1,600 divided by 5. And 1,600 divided by 5, that is 320. And this will be our answer. Or, you can solve this one as 800 times 2 over 5. You can divide 800 by 5. It will give us 160 multiplied by 2, and that is 320. And if you are going to divide 2 over 5, it will give us 0 0.40. So let us have percentage equals base times rate. That is 800 times 40% or 0 0.40. So let us have 800 multiplied by 0 0.40. It will give us 300.
20. So we are going to come up with the same answer. On example number 4, in a class of 40, 30% 30 are girls. On letter A, how many are girls? Letter B, how many percent are boys? And letter C, how many boys are in a class? First, let us determine the number of girls in a class of 40. So for letter A, the base, which is 40, and the rate that is 30%. Or if we are going to write 30% in decimal, that is 0 0.30. And let us use the formula, percentage equals base times rate. So base that is 40 multiplied by rate that is 30% or 0 0.30. It will give us 40 times 0 0.30 and that is 12. So this will be the number of girls in a class. On letter B, how many percent are boys? So to determine the number of percentage of boys in a class, let us simply have 100% minus the percentage of girls that is 30%. It will give us 70%. So this will be the percentage of boys in a class of 40. On letter C, how many boys are in a class? So there are two different ways on how we can find the number of boys in a class. First, let us have 40 minus the number of girls which is 12. So 40 minus 12, it will give us 28. So this will be the number of boys in a class. Or you can solve this one as percentage equals base times rate. So base that is 40 times rate that is 70% or 0 0.70 in decimal. It will give us 40 multiplied by 0 0.70. It will give us 28. And this will be our answer. On our last example, an employee receives a net monthly income of 25,750 pesos and spends 20% of this amount on food. How much is spent on food every month? So to determine the amount spent of the employee on food every month, let us identify first our given. So let us have the base, which is 25,750 pesos and the rate of 20% or in decimal that is 0 0.20 and let us use the formula that is base times rate so let us have the base which is the monthly income that is 25,750 pesos multiplied by the rate which is 20% or 0 0.20 so 25,750 multiplied by 0 0.20, it will give us 5,150 pesos. So this will be the amount of the employee spends on food every month. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.